Hello, and welcome to the Public Information Center for the class Environmental Assessment Study to plan for Zone 4 water storage and pumping facilities to service North Whitby and North Oshawa. Thank you for joining this virtual meeting. My name is Ivy Newell, and I will be presenting on behalf of SEMA Plus and the Region of Durham. SEMA Plus was the consultant selected by the Region to complete the Class Environmental Assessment Study for this project, also referred to as the Class EA Study. Public consultation and engagement are integral to Municipal Class EA Studies. Accordingly, this Public Information Center, referred to as a PIC, is being held to provide the public with opportunities to learn more about the Municipal Class Environmental Assessment process that has been followed for this project. We will review the results of the activities completed to date and the solutions being recommended, and outline how you can provide your feedback on the information presented and stay informed and involved. This video presentation will briefly describe the key activities, results, and recommendations being made by this Class EA study. Comments, questions, or general feedback can be provided by calling or emailing the project team members listed on the project website. The purpose of this Class EA study is to identify the preferred water storage and pumping infrastructure required to service Zone 4 water pressure districts in Whitby and Oshawa to 2031 and beyond. To plan for infrastructure requirements for Zone 4 in Whitby and Oshawa with consideration to future servicing requirements for Zone 5. To select a recommended solution that minimizes impacts on the natural and social cultural environments and has regards to technical and financial implications. The Municipal Class EA process in this study incorporates four successive phases. Phase 1 involves identification of the problem slash opportunity statement. A notice of commencement was issued in October 2018 advising the start of the project. Phase 2 involves an inventory of the study area, development, and evaluation of alternative solutions, identification of the recommended solution, and public consultation. We are currently in the last stages of Phase 2 where consultation with the public takes place to solicit comments and input. Phase 2 concludes with confirmation of the solutions being recommended after input and comments received from this PIC are considered. After completion of Phases 1 and 2, a project file report will be prepared to document the decision-making process, findings, and recommendations of the study. The project file report will be made available for public review for a 45-day review period. A notice of completion will be issued to advise that the project file report has been posted on the project website for public record for the set duration of time. The notice of completion is planned to be issued by fall 2020. Following approval of recommendations outlined in the project file report, the project will proceed to phase five, the final phase of the study, which involves project design and implementation. The Whitby Oshawa Curtis Drinking Water System provides municipal treated water to the town of Whitby, the city of Oshawa, and the Curtis urban area. The system consists of two Lake Ontario based water treatment plants, pumping stations, reservoirs, and water distribution systems that deliver water to customers through four pressure zones. Each pressure zone is separated by approximately 30 meter intervals of elevation. The graphic in this slide provides a general overview of the extent of the Whitby Oshawa Curtis drinking water system, as well as the urban, municipal, and pressure zone boundaries in the region. The extent of the Greenbelt area is also shown in the graphic. In municipal water systems, water is withdrawn from the water source and treated before it is pumped to the customers. After treatment, the water is distributed to homes and businesses through a combination of large and small pipelines. Some of the treated water is stored in reservoirs, typically located at higher ground elevations, to allow the water to flow by gravity to the customers. Pumping stations help to pump the water from the distribution system or reservoirs to higher pressure areas. The graphic in this slide provides a generic representation of the key components of a typical water system. The Whitby Oshawa Curtis drinking water system includes a combination of water treatment plants, pumping stations, storage reservoirs, 
and distribution systems strategically located in separate geographic areas of the region. This study has been planned with consideration to projected water demands resulting from anticipated growth in Zone 4 and Zone 5 in Whitby and Oshawa. The graphic in this slide shows the major areas in the town of Whitby and the city of Oshawa where residential and employment growth is projected to occur for pressures Zone 4 and 5. Based on the projected population and water demands that build out for the town of Whitby, an additional water storage capacity of 13 megaliters is expected for Zone 4 and 6 megaliters for Zone 5. Based on the projected population and water demands at built out for the city of Oshawa, an additional water storage capacity of 16 megaliters is expected for Zone 4 and 10 megaliters for Zone 5. The problem slash opportunity statement for this Class EA study has been defined as the population forecasts for the ultimate build-out indicate that significant growth will occur in the North Whitby and North Oshawa areas, which are within Durham Region Zone 4 and Zone 5 water pressure districts. As such, water storage and pumping facilities are required to service Zone 4 in Whitby and Oshawa to 2031 and beyond, with consideration for future water servicing requirements for Zone 5. A systematic evaluation process was used in the selection of the preferred storage and pumping solution. The evaluation process includes three sequential steps. Step 1. Identification and screening of servicing alternatives. Available servicing alternatives were reviewed and screened based on a set of must-meet criteria. The results of this first step identified building new Zone 4 reservoirs and booster pumping stations as the preferred alternative to carry forward for further consideration in the study. Step 2. Identification of a preliminary preferred solution through a detailed evaluation process. Alternative sites for new reservoirs and pumping stations were identified and subjected to a detailed evaluation that included sociocultural, natural environmental, technical and operational, and economic considerations. Higher scores were assigned to sites that would reduce or eliminate potential impacts. The sites with the highest overall score have been selected and are being recommended as the preferred sites for the new reservoir and pumping station in Whitby and Oshawa Zone 4. Step 3 is the final step in the selection process, which entails confirmation of the recommended preferred sites in Whitby and Oshawa with input from the public and review agencies. Detailed evaluation criteria were developed and used in the assessment of the alternative sites. Four main criteria categories were identified to include sociocultural, natural environmental, technical and operational, and economic considerations. Specific factors were considered within each of the four criteria categories. Factors related to the sociocultural criteria included public health and safety, construction impacts, public perception, aesthetic and operational impacts, land use, and property acquisition. Factors related to the natural environmental criteria included climate change, natural environmental features, watercourse crossings, water resources, archaeological and cultural heritage, and regulatory approvals. Factors related to the technical and operational criteria included opportunity for long-term servicing, operational complexity, ease of implementation, system redundancy and flexibility, and energy efficiency. Finally, life cycle costs derived from capital, installation, and operation and maintenance costs were considered as part of the economic criteria. The water servicing alternatives considered in step one of the selection process included 1. Do nothing 2. Limit community growth 3. Implement water conservation and efficiency measures. 4a. Upgrade existing Zone 4 booster pumping stations. 4b. Keep existing Zone 4 booster pumping stations and build new Zone 4 booster pumping stations. 5a. Build new Zone 4 reservoirs and booster pumping stations. 5b. Build new Zone 4 elevated tanks and booster pumping stations. The preliminary screening identified alternative 5A, 
build new Zone 4 reservoir and booster pumping stations as the preferred servicing solution. The other alternatives were eliminated from further consideration as they failed the must-meet criteria. Seven potential alternative sites for the new Whitby Zone 4 reservoir and booster pumping station were identified. All sites are located on lands within either the Oak Ridges Moraine or the Greenbelt. The overall geographic location of each site is shown on an aerial map in this slide. The sites are located in separate areas, but in general, most sites are either north or south of Myrtle Road between Ashburn Road and Regional Road 12, Baldwin Street North, and the town of Whitby. Following an assessment of the seven potential alternative sites, four sites were shortlisted and carried forward for further evaluation. The four shortlisted sites are identified as sites A1, A3, B2, and B3. Preliminary conceptual layouts were developed for each of the four shortlisted sites. Sub-options for two of the shortlisted sites, A3 and B2, were also developed to reflect potential separate areas for the siting of the infrastructure within each site. A preliminary layout of the key proposed infrastructure required for each site is presented in the slide to show the overall location of the in-ground reservoir, access road, future pumping station, and standby generator, and the potential future elevated tower for Zone 5 storage. Aerial maps of each site are presented showing the preliminary conceptual layout developed for each site. The four shortlisted sites and their sub-options were further evaluated on a comparative basis and based on a set of specific considerations within the socio-cultural, natural environmental, technical and operational, and economic criteria. Details on criteria categories and their specific considerations were previously discussed in slide 10. The next two slides show the detailed evaluation results of the shortlisted sites considered for the town of Whitby. The total score achieved by each site is shown. A fuller circle represents a more preferable option. The detailed evaluation shows that two sites, B2 North and B3, achieved the highest score. A 75% filled circle is shown as a total score for both options. Site B2 North is situated immediately southeast of the intersection between Duffs Road and Myrtle Road West. Site B3 is located to the west of Duffs Road, approximately 800 meters south of Myrtle Road West. Some short-term impacts in terms of noise, dust, traffic, and vibration to sensitive receptors are expected during construction on both sites. However, both sites minimize dewatering and groundwater inflow during reservoir excavation and reduce the potential for design and constructability challenges. Property acquisition is also an option for both sites. The estimated life cycle for both sites are also comparable and relatively lower than the other sites evaluated. Sites B3 and B2 North obtain the highest total score indicating that both sites would provide the greatest benefits to Whitby Zone 4 compared to the other sites. Upon further comparison of the two highest scored sites, site B2 North has been identified as a recommended site. Implementation of the project on site B2 North will result in minimal impact on the natural environment due to absence of significant natural features on site. It will facilitate construction and reduce construction related costs due to ideal ground elevations on site. In addition, Property acquisition is viable, and to date, the property owner has noted minimal concerns with the proposed conceptual layout. The graphic in this slide shows the overall location of the recommended preferred site B2 North in the town of Whitby relative to the location of the existing regional Zone 3 Duffs Road Reservoir site. To deliver water to the new Zone 4 reservoir located on the recommended preferred site B2 North, a new pumping station will need to be built at the existing Zone 3 Duffs Road Reservoir site located immediately east of Duffs Road and south of Bradley Road. A feeder main connection is required between these two locations. The graphic in this slide shows the recommended route for the feeder main connection. The connecting feeder main will be along Duffs Road from the existing Zone 3 Duffs Road Reservoir site to the new Zone 4 Reservoir site B2 North. The selected feeder main route shown on an aerial map in this slide 
maximizes simplicity in design and construction due to the shortest length and to minimal changes in existing topography. It also results in minimal potential impacts to existing natural environmental features. As with any other construction project, the region recognizes that there will be impacts to the environment as a result of the proposed works. Health and safety are a priority to the region, and all construction activities will adhere to strict safety guidelines. Mitigation measures will be implemented to reduce and or minimize the anticipated impacts from the project. Field investigations will be completed on the recommended site, B2 North, to support the detailed design and construction phases of the project and to ensure that any required mitigation measures are identified and implemented. Please review the anticipated impacts and mitigation measures on these slides. Feel free to contact the project team if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions related to this aspect. 8. Potential alternative sites for the new Oshawa Zone 4 Reservoir and Booster Pumping Station were identified. All sites are located on lands within either the Oak Ridges Moraine or the Greenbelt. The overall geographic location of each site is shown on an aerial map in this slide. The sites are located in separate areas, but in general, all sites are north of Highway 407 between Simcoe Street North and Grandview Street North in the city of Oshawa. Following an assessment of the eight potential alternative sites, two sites were shortlisted and carried forward for a further evaluation. The two shortlisted sites are identified as sites A9 and B6. Preliminary conceptual layouts were developed for the two shortlisted sites A9 and B6. A preliminary layout of the key proposed infrastructure required for each site is presented on the slide to show the overall location of the in-ground reservoir, access road, future pumping station, and standby generator, and the potential future elevated tower for Zone 5 storage. Aerial maps of each site are presented showing the preliminary conceptual layout developed for each site. Like the evaluation completed for the sites in Whitby, the two shortlisted sites for Oshawa were further evaluated on a comparative basis and based on a set of specific considerations within the socio-cultural, natural environmental, technical and operational, and economic criteria. This slide shows the detailed evaluation results of the shortlisted sites considered for the city of Oshawa. A fuller circle represents a more preferable option. The detailed evaluation results show that site B6 achieves the highest score with a 75% filled circle. Site B6 is situated north of Winchester Road East and off Grandview Street North. No short-term or long-term impacts with regards to noise, dust, traffic, and vibration to sensitive receptors are expected during construction and operation of the facilities on Site B6. Appropriate setbacks and implementation of mitigation measures will need to be provided on site to protect the existing natural environmental features. Property acquisition is available for this option. The estimated life cycle cost for the Site B6 is slightly lower than the other site evaluated. Site B6 obtained the highest total score, indicating that this site would provide the greatest benefits to Oshawa Zone 4. Site B6 has been identified as a recommended site. Due to the relative remote location of this site from private properties and local roads, no impacts on sensitive receptors are expected. In addition, property acquisition is viable and to date, the property owner has noted minimal concerns with the proposed conceptual layout. The graphic in this slide shows the overall location of the recommended preferred site B6 in the city of Oshawa, relative to the location of the existing Regional Zone 3 Harmony Road Reservoir site. To deliver water to the new Zone 4 Reservoir located on the recommended preferred site B6, a new pumping station will need to be built at the existing Zone 3 Harmony Road Reservoir site located immediately east of Harmony Road North and south of Winchester Road East. A feeder main connection is required between the two locations. The graphic in this slide shows the recommended route for the feeder main connection. The connecting feeder main will run along Harmony Road North after leaving the existing Zone 3 Harmony Road Reservoir site. Follow east on Winchester Road East, cross Highway 407, and then north on Grandview Street North until it reaches the new Zone 4 Reservoir Site B6. 
The selected feeder main route shown on an aerial map in this slide minimizes potential impacts to existing natural environmental features and maximizes opportunities to coordinate planned future development and construction in the area. As with any other construction project, the region recognizes that there will be impacts to the environment as a result of the proposed works. Health and safety are a priority to the region, and all construction activities will adhere to strict safety guidelines. Mitigation measures will be implemented to reduce and or minimize the anticipated impacts from the project. Field investigations will be completed on the recommended site B6 to support the detailed design and construction phases of the project and to ensure that any required mitigation measures are identified and implemented. Consultation with the Conservation Authority will continue to ensure the protection of sensitive natural environmental features on site. Consultation with MTO 407 ETR will also continue to confirm clearances, design requirements, and permits associated with the feeder main crossing of Highway 407. Please review the anticipated impacts and mitigation measures on these slides. Feel free to contact the project team if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions related to this aspect. The next steps for the project team will be to review and consider public input received during this public information center, confirm the preferred recommended sites for the new Zone 4 reservoirs and pumping stations in Whitby and Oshawa, Prepare the Class Environmental Assessment Report documenting the decision-making process and recommendations. Issue the Notice of Study Completion. File the Class Environmental Assessment Report on the public record for a 30-day review period. We encourage you to review all PIC material available on our website. Please submit any comments or questions that you may have by email or phone as listed on this slide before Friday, August 14, 2020. On behalf of the entire project team, thank you for your interest in this project and for participating in this PIC.